Hey folks, Reloading Bench back with you once again. I wasn't thinking I'd be making any more videos today or this weekend, and I'm not saying that I'm bored as shit, but I'm kind of bored as shit with the self-quarantining stuff. <clears throat> so here goes another video. And this is, uh, I got this idea from uh, a comment Vanilla Gorilla left on uh, the 5.7 uh, load process, uh, which I thought was a really valid comment. Um, and his comment was along, the, I'm assuming it's a he, uh, Vanilla Gorilla's comment was along the lines of wouldn't trust the Hornady. Uh, he said powder measure or Vanilla Gorilla said powder measure. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't have used a powder measure for uh, measuring out the 5.7 either. But measuring on a digital scale, I know some folks uh, absolutely hate digital scales and prefer analog. And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. Why don't I compare the accuracy of the digital scale that I've been using for almost... I think I want to say nine years now or so uh, across every caliber I load and uh, I specifically use that as well as the uh, the larger auto charge uh, and Hornady has a really sweet looking new auto charge that I want to upgrade to by the way it's not out yet and it's very very sweet looking um, but between the two scales especially for uh, example when I was loading my uh, 416 Barrett loads that's 190 grains of US 869 for my particular load and uh, I would uh, charge uh, I would dis I would actually do the powder charge from the auto charge and then double weigh it on here and uh, I have no concerns about my digital scale and uh, I prefer the convenience the accuracy and my comfort level is uh, is good with my digital scale uh, won't speak to anybody else's digital scale or their problems over the years uh, I don't like battery operated digital scales just because of the uh, state of the battery uh, cold warm old whatever so I thought oh, this is a good opportunity to make a quick short video on an old RCBS 304 I love this scale it's uh, I, I, I have it as more of a museum piece on a shelf than uh, a scale I actually use but uh, I love the uh, the dial capability and this is a 304 so this is a grain scale and not a gram scale I think the 311 is the gram so uh, I'll uh, I'll show you that I've got both scales zeroed out right now and I've got uh, a set of uh, RCBS whoops uh, weights that uh, I will use to uh, I'll probably just throw uh, a 10 grain on there so uh, as opposed to messing with uh, with powder and the messiness of powder. So let me uh, pull this off the tripod and you can see that uh, the RCBS is, is zeroed out. Okay, so at zero uh, reading on the dial, at zero reading on the balance, and at a zero reading, or I would call that pretty close to zeroed out, close enough for me. But uh, one of the concerns I had with using... <coughs> A, uh, a balance beam or any other type of an analog scale is the time it just takes forever for it to settle down to zero out and uh, and such so uh, just wasn't my thing um, I will uh, use a 10 grain weight that is whoops wow this thing is tiny all right so just so that you can see this in there i know there's just no way this is going to uh, focus because this camera is just so bad on focus uh, but that is 10 gn 10 grains 10 grains so i'm going to drop that on the hornady and as you can see nine nine point nine I move it around 10 dead center 10 9 8 9 9 10 10 9 9 9 8 9 9 and I know all the digital scales say they're into a one tenth of a grain so this is within spec and this could uh, come down to what uh, Vanilla Gorilla was talking about. 
So I'm going to call it at 9.9. Then I'll take it out. I'll weigh it again. And we are at 9.9. I'll do the same thing on the RCBS. I'll set this to 10 grains. I'll do this twice. I'll set it on the dial to 10 grains and see what see what we get. So that would probably bother me a little bit because I'll pull this off. And as you can see, that 10 grains is not zeroing out. So I would be more worried about using this scale. And this is what I mean about the whole, let's see if this will go back in zero. And I notice that when I hold the camera, in my hand the sound gets real shitty all right I just move that back to zero and this looks like it's zeroing back I've got some wobble uh, and this is one of the pains I found with an analog scale is to get it to calm down Okay, so I'm going to call that zero. So I'll put this back up here so the sound won't be so effed up. And I will, I know we're right around 10, so let me get to 9 and some change and see what happens with the balance arm. Okay, so we're right on 10 grains. As you can see, we are not balanced. So this is saying, I'm gonna move this over. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, maybe that weight's actually 9.9. .9. Because at 9.9, it's still not balanced. I'm gonna move this to 9.8. And at 9.8, I don't know, hopefully that's focused. At 9.8, it looks like we are balancing. So, I'm going to say that uh, the Hornady Digital is a little more convenient and is accurate enough for what I need to do. So I'll do a second measurement on the RCBS. I'll throw this back to zero. <clears throat> Let it zero back out. And you'll see that there's still pan wobble here which, um, you know, if I try to stop, it's just going to throw things off even more, I think. And again, back to the frustration of zeroing out, you know, thought I had it zeroed before. See what it comes back at. I've seen people use glass. All right, so I'm going to call that zero. So 
So this time I'll move this to the balance beam weight, leave the dial at zero, and see where we're at. And again, pretty big delta, pretty big delta between zero and uh, with just using 10 grain and the dial set to zero. So that uh, does not give me the warm fuzzies. So I'll throw this back to zero. Yeah, that was in that was in the notch. Throw that back to zero. Settle the pan down a little bit. And see if it will zero out again. I've noticed uh, uh, previously that when I set this on a shelf, it takes me like a day to zero. And by that I mean I, I adjust the lever, adjust the weight rather, the counterweight, and then wait a few hours, check, and rinse and repeat because as you can see, uh, it's not zeroing. But we've still got some wobble. <coughs> Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call that zeroed. We'll put this on here again. We'll try the dial. Pretty close. But again, for the time and effort and the re-zero frustration, uh, that's not right on the money. So, I actually don't know what the stated uh, level of accuracy for the 304 is. Uh, because if it's one-tenth of a grain, I would say we're right in the one-tenth of a grain area. Again, back to the Hornady. Now we're at 10-1. Oh, 10 out. I know exactly, and almost zeroed again. Again, I've got pan wobble. Okay, so I'm going to say that zeroed. Again with 10 grains on the balance, zero on the dial. Yeah, I just wouldn't be trusting this. That's really frustrating. Zero on the dial, not balancing, and let me remove that weight and watch to see what this does. And maybe I should put the 10 back to zero. Okay, let's see where we're at. And again, this is the, how many times have we tried to re-zero this? Again, we've got pan wobble. Extremely sensitive scale. And still not re-zeroing. So uh, I'm going to say, again, all things considered, for what I use, I have uh, no issues with my Hornady digital scale to be that accurate for me and for what I'm doing. Uh, I'm calling this a win. And this, again, goes back on the shelf as a museum piece, and I'll spend the next day or two re-zeroing it 
and I will sleep good at night knowing that uh, I have the right amount of powder in those uh, 5.7 by 28 bullets.